what if Fugo wore a Swiss cheese barong Tagalog? I feel like that's borderline sacrilege. Sup y'all, welcome to Channel Zorovsky. I'm Zorovsky Cristal, Filipina, Manilenya, Millennial, whatever. So right after I designed Trisha's Filipiniana inspired by This Is Lele, my own work inspired barong Tagal Tagalog. Eh. Uh, that makes sense. I'm tripping on my own language. Wouldn't be the first time. Designs for her two dads. It's either her two dads or we're looking at two different pictures of Bruno. Like I said, Diavolo may have been her father, but he wasn't her daddy. Without further ado, mute me if you wanna, or don't, let's do it, let's get to the specs. Barong bossings are two ink drawings, each on 5.5 inch by 7 inch paper. There are one point designs like on a tattoo flash where I where it's a contained design, almost like they're floating. The Barong Tagalog is a form of Filipiniana just like Trisha's outfit. Baro, meaning shirt or garb. Now there's a separate baro for men and women. When you say baro saya, saya or patajong being skirt, that's the feminine costume, baro saya. When you say Barong Tagalog, Tagalog not just being the lingua franca dialect but also the ethnicity, like some people are ind indigenous or have their ethno-linguistic group. I'm, I'm Tagalog. While Barong Tagalog refers to the shirt that was traditionally meant for men. Pre-colonial and colonial times, it was everyday wear that eventually faded into formal wear. Now there's this zigzag between both and anybody can choose to wear it. The traditional textiles vary from pineapple fibers to husi, which came from abaca or banana silk which are translucent and made for long sleeve shirts meant for formal occasions. They're either cream, white, or off-white. But now we got an array of colors and modes to choose from, including short sleeves and mini dresses for office functions and other events. Cotton's valid, but synthetic fabrics are, fabrics are often utilized too. The colors either mandarin or like other dress shirts. And it's optional for the shirt to have slits or vents at the sides. The opening or button line goes down from the middle of the collar to either halfway down or all the way to the hem like a regular dress shirt. But the main characteristic of the barong is the embroidery. Starting at the collar, it either follows the button seam down to the hem or it's contained in a panel before the shirt ends. Varied embroidery designs range from swirls, florals, ribbons, whatever else the designer imagines. That's why Diavolo and Bruno were inspiring. Their tattoos and clothes look like or could be used as a motive for barongs. Let's start with Bruno. The middle isn't a cutout showing his tattoo. The middle is uh, more sheer than the rest of the shirt and is embroidered with his tattoo pattern while the rest of him is embroidered with those droplet thingies on his OG white suit. Meanwhile, these are zipper patterns running down from his shoulders. They're not actual zippers. Mandarin collar like his original design and a zipper in lieu of buttons. I thought about giving him dangly zipper cufflinks, but decided the rolled up sleeves would look better. Bruno's cut and patterns are like rounded squares, but with Diavolo, the looks curvier, flowy, billowy, torsos fitted but not tight. It's a very uncommon barong design. The pattern, of course, is based off of his net crop top and paisley tattoos, to which I added some more flourishes using okir as a reference. Okir being this swirly spiral motif from Mindanao. That's O-K-I-R, and it predates um, Islam. These poofy sleeves aren't standard for most designs either. Neither are embroidered sleeves. They exist, but aren't as common in the real world. Neither is the hem that looks like a web or reversed scalloping nor the almost full body coverage embroidery, let alone the scallop embroidered collar. The only thing standard about the Avalos Barong Tagalog is the button-down opening and the presumed cufflinks which are out of view. Now, I wanted to style these shirts but decided not to in order to focus on their designs. What could have been would be Bruno wearing a laurel wreath inked in gold. His hair would have been braided half up and tied with ribbons. And if Diavolo had a full body design, his Parong Tagalog would have tailcoats akin to his original design, which is rare, 
but have been done before, one example being worn by businessman Joel Cruz. For as much as I can, I want to be consistent, especially for diptychs or series with uniform aesthetics. Here, it's purely monochrome plus their hair color, two-tone for blue, two-tone for pink. But I recanted yellow for buttons. At first, I was unsure because I've already swatched the pinks and blues, but fear the yellow would clash, resolving to color the buttons digitally. That didn't happen. I jumped it. Color the buttons in yellow ink. Didn't clash, same hue. For some reason while sketching, I forgot how human hands work, but figured it out eventually. After googling references, um, I finished inking, scanned them, edited in post. But before that, I had to position them in a way that didn't make it look like they were arguing. And Diavolo just bitch slapped a defiant Bruno. So there's a reason who's on which side, because Diavolo's post is referenced from the second OP, Uragiri Mono no Requiem, when the opera is happening. Y'all know the one. After positioning, I had to sign them. Usually, it's my right thumb used for signing, but here I use two of my four thumbs. Don't tell me, sta. This isn't the first time I put Jojo characters in Barong Tagalogs, by the way. Rifle past the poetry of my deviant art and see me put some Jojos in Barongs. If I remember my own art, as you do, I think I put everyone in the 195 centimeter club in them. This was back when I wanted to show the international Jojo community our culture for Buwan ng Wika, or Month of Language. Segue into vlog. I got hooked on journaling, but am trash at washi tape art. More on that later. Barong bossings were the last art pieces from last year, but only could make them make the speed paint now because holidays happened and family happens during holidays. Also, the first bit of the year. Foundation and Resolve had to be filmed and released, plus the aftermath, so there. And there's that. Help keep this channel running by donating to my coffee or buying merch on Redbubble. Links below with the rest of my soch. Tally ho to the comments below if y'all think Fugo should wear a Swiss cheese barong. Please no. <laughs> Subscribe to get crystallized and ciao for now. Ah, Bruno said Ari.